Psychology has become more of a business advertising profession than an MBA itself. Multiple studies have been conducted to determine how language shapes the customer satisfaction and purchasing behavior. Ultimately, the main takeaway is using language and terms that are familiar and specific to the customer significantly boosts customer satisfaction and thus are more willing to purchase and purchase more. These studies were conducted by analyzing thousands of customer representatives and customer interactions. In theory, you could do the same and optimize your listing with the correct vocabulary and language, but you likely don't have the capital or the bandwidth to conduct a research study to acquire and analyze all that data for your brand. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can in fact do the same for your brand and product listing at very low cost. What we're going to cover is how to acquire the data of your how your customers speak about your product from customer reviews and to how to analyze it to implement the language into your listing using ChatGPT. Hi, my name is Zane and I'm from Seller Metrics, an Amazon agency dedicated to teaching and improving PPC strategies to Amazon sellers to scale their advertising and maximize their revenue and profit. So let's start with how to acquire data. So earlier I said the studies were conducted on thousands of customer interactions and it would be very difficult to get that kind of data. But as a matter of fact, we already have that data and it comes in the form of customer reviews on your product listing. You might be thinking it would take forever to read through the customer reviews and identify commonly used words. And it normally would, but not with modern technology. So first, let's talk about acquiring the data. We're going to data scrape product listing pages of the reviews. If you're a programmer, note I am not, you can write a SQL quote to do so. However, I'm not a programmer, I'm assuming you're not either, so I use an online service called Octoparse. We're not affiliated with Octoparse in any way. There are also other services that do the same. I just found this one to be the easiest. Okay, so if we go to octoparse.com, this is what it looks like. It's an easy web scraping tool for anyone to use. It, has, it doesn't require any coding. And basically all you really have to do is link the product listing link into the software and it'll do all the work for you. But basically log in, uh, download it. It'll walk you through that. So I'm not going to go through it. But when you open the program, this is what it looks like. And if you go to the task list or the templates, you can type in Amazon review. And basically you click the, this one, Amazon review scraper and you can basically just put in the ASINs for which you want to retrieve the information from. So in this section, you would put in your ASIN of your product listing. I'm going to do this guy right here. By the way, guys, if you don't have enough customer reviews on your product listing, you can actually just use your competitors listings as well, because you're selling a similar product, their customers likely value the same kind of things as they would for your product. So this is the product I'm doing. It is a uh, leather watch box with valet drawer. It's for people to store their watches. It's a very cool product and they have 1,999 ratings. And if you have to manually go through all of these uh, reviews, it would take forever. Luckily, we don't have to do that. So all we want to do is basically copy their ASIN, which is in that right here, copy, and we go back to Octoparse and we just paste it here. And you want to actually do this for a couple of listings all at once of the same product. Uh, you can use your listings and your competitor's listing both. And all you really have to do at the top right is uh, press start after you have uh, picked the date that you've done it, which is today, and basically fill all these things in. So press start and it'll spit out this Excel sheet. So on this Excel sheet, it'll have a couple of columns. Um, pretty straightforward. It is the product name, which is of the listing that I showed you. It's URL. It has other things like the ASIN, the username of the customer reviewer and the rating that they gave the product. But most importantly, this is the column that we want review content. This is the actual uh, words and, and, and review that they left on the product. So the next step is to actually review this content and identify the most commonly used words so that you can then implement those in your own listing. And we're not going to do that manually. We're going to run this through chat GPT. So I've already done it for you and we're going to walk through it. Unfortunately, uh, the prompt is a big wall of text. I normally don't like sh uh, going through a big wall of text. It's not ex exactly exciting to watch, but it's necessary in this case. And by the way, guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you like and subscribe. So here we are in ChatGPT, and this is the prompt I used. You are an expert product market researcher for the brand Gilded. Your role will be to conduct sentiment analysis and feature extraction on Amazon product reviews that I will provide in an Excel spreadsheet. Gilded is a brand that focuses on creating luxury storage solutions for clothing and accessories. Specifically, we focus on items such as watch boxes, jewelry boxes, travel cases for accessories, etc. I'm looking to optimize my product listing on Amazon. This includes the title, description, and bullet points. I would like to emphasize the traits of the box that customers generally
generally prioritize, I would also like to use the same language as the customers that leave the reviews. Your skills will be used to identify the sentiment towards the product as a whole, and in particular, identify the sentiment towards any comments that mention the box in a positive or negative light. Additionally, identify the words used to describe the wood and or box. This knowledge will help us craft the optimal marketing message to be used in our product descriptions and advertising. And before providing you the data set to conduct the analysis, do you have any questions or requests and any more information to do your job better? So that last part there, guys, is incredibly important. Um, it will help you improve your prompt skills in general across anything you might want to use uh, ChatGPT for. Before you actually ask it to give you an answer, always ask it what more information it needs to give you a better answer. Uh, so that's uh, another small hack that you can use when using ChatGPT anytime. I know that was a big wall of text, guys. Uh, you can follow along and write the prompt yourself, or uh, we do have a book that helps people scale their PPC, and you can get a free copy of it. It's got a 4.8 out of 5 star rating on Amazon. I want to tell you a little bit about it here. And if you do sign up today, we will throw in this prompt for free. If you want to learn more on how you can optimize Amazon PPC, you can get a free copy of our ebook, The Ultimate Guide to Amazon Ads, Advanced Tactics, and Best Practices. This book has received a 4.8 out of 5 star rating on Amazon and has helped beginners and advanced sellers alike. Click the link in the description below to sign up to our emailing list and receive a free copy. Okay, moving on. So it asks me all these questions so that it can do a better job of giving me an answer. It asks me things like product context, target audience, review sentiments. Should I only focus on five star and one star reviews for extreme sentiments or analyze all of them? I told it to analyze all of them. The language used, uh, just English, competitive insights, and delivery format. Just, I'm not going to go through this in detail, uh, but answer the questions as I did here. And then I still ask it, do you need anything else? I want it to be sure that it has everything it needs to give me the proper answer. It did ask me more questions. It asked me about the file format, uh, key focus areas and insight deliveries. Uh, for example, would you prefer that I highlight opportunities for differentiation? Uh, I chose not to, but you can if you want. Anyways, I tell it about the file format and I actually go as far as telling it what the column uh, titles are and I recommend doing that. It just helps it do its job better. So answer those questions and this is the summary of all the information it has. And then basically, if everything is clear, you can upload the spreadsheet. Once I receive the file, I'll begin the analysis and keep you updated as I progress. Let me know if there's anything else. I uploaded my Excel sheet and I told it, use advanced data analysis to conduct the analysis on the attached file. So it runs it, it runs the analysis, and it spits out this downloadable spreadsheet of itself so you can see the analysis. But we're going to keep moving on and we're going to ask it some pretty interesting questions. So first question, can you include the most used adjectives and adverbs? Also include most frequently used words, excludes words like the and or it, etc. And here we have it. It very quickly in like a minute does something that would take us days. It identified the most frequently used words. So in this case, for this product, it was watch, box, quality, case, display, drawer, gift, great, nice, and well. It identified the most commonly used adjectives, quality, display, sturdy, happy, and so on, and also the most used adverbs, highly, de definitely, absolutely, nicely, beautifully, perfectly, and so on and so forth. I then went on and further asked it what features are mentioned most, both in positive and negative light, and it spits out this amazing data, which is identifying the features that people talked about the most of your about your product. In this case, it is quality, design, storage, functionality, gift, and price. Now you guys have all of the information that you need to optimize your product listing using the words that your own customers use and the features that they prioritize the most. So what you need to do is take those adjectives and adverbs and talk about these features in the way that your customers would talk about. You will psychologically connect with them far better and as the data shows from all those studies, increase their likelihood of buying and buying more. So that's the video today, guys. But before I go, I just want to tell you a little bit about who we are at SM. If you're an Amazon seller that wants to grow your Amazon profits, schedule a discovery call in the link below. We are an Amazon agency that helps our clients grow their revenue and their profits and optimize their PPC. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.